Well, good morning from me here in sunny but very cold and frosty Scotland. And uh, I just want to say today is a good day. It's February the 8th. You know, 8 in the Bible is all about new beginnings. And I believe that God is saying today it's a new beginning for you. It might not be a new beginning for the entirety of your life. It might be a new beginning in an area of your life or maybe in more than one area. But God is saying today, embrace a day of new beginnings. It's really in my spirit right now for you. I think a lot of us started this year hoping it would be a new beginning, hoping that we could have a fresh start. And a lot of us have encountered a lot of warfare from the enemy, a lot of spiritual resistance and opposition. And we haven't fully entered in to the new beginning that God had for us. But today God is saying, take hold of it. Pauling talked yesterday about breakthrough. And I believe this is a month of breakthrough, breaking in to the new season that God has for us. And you might have encountered a lot of um, pushback from the enemy already this year, but God is saying, take hold of what I've got for you because I, I'm making all things new. You know, in the Bible, there's three new beginnings that I see quite clearly. Number one was at the start of creation. When God made the world, it said there was the earth was without form. It was void. There was no structure. There was no design. There was no form to it. But out of the waters, out of the chaos, God began to speak and he began to create the world and everything in it, including us. And I believe that today God is saying he wants to start creating things in your life. Your, your life might have been void and without form like the earth before it was made. But God is saying, I am the author of your life. I am the creator and sustainer. And he wants to create streams in the desert. He wants to create oases in the wilderness. He wants to, to bring life, fruitfulness, pr productivity. He wants you to blossom. He wants you to, to just really um, be enlarged in your territory and, and come into a fruitful, spacious place today. It's a new beginning for you. God can make it. God can create it. Receive it from him. In Jesus' name. The second new beginning I see in the Bible was with Noah. It was only several chapters from creation before man had messed up what God had made. And, and God said, I'm starting again. I'm wiping the slate clean and I'm going to make, make a fresh start with Noah and his family because he's been found righteous. And, you know, Noah was on the ark. He was on the, the waters for, for about a year and then he came off. And then God said it's a new beginning and he, he, he confirmed it with a rainbow in the clouds. You know, that was a sign of his covenant. It was a sign of his promise. It was a sign that he was with Noah and his family going forward. And, you know, some of you might have been in the ark, on the waters. You might have been contained, shut in and, and you've gone through the waters and you've gone through the fire. But God is saying, I'm bringing you out now into a new beginning. It might be into a new relationship. It might be into a new place where you live, a new job, a new church. I know that God has a new beginning for you. A lot of you need it today. Maybe not all of you, but some of you need to know that new beginning in God, that fresh start. And God is saying, start afresh with me. Behold, I make all things new. Do you not see it? Do you not perceive it? And... Um, the first thing that Noah did when he came off the ark was to, to give sac uh, make a sacrifice to God. He got an altar. He built an altar and he sacrificed to God. He acknowledged that God was there with him at the start of this new season and phase and era of his life and of humanity. And he put God first. And God is saying, put me first today. Seek me and live and embrace the new beginning that I have for you. The, the, the old has gone. The past has gone. All, even what's already happened this year has gone. But today you can just receive that, that freshness of my spirit. You can receive that, that new life that I have for you. The, the, new, the, the power that rose Jesus from the dead lives in you today. And then thirdly and finally, most importantly, I see a new beginning at the cross. You know, 2,000 years ago, Jesus came into the world, the Son of God, God himself, God incarnate, came down 
to us. He be put on flesh. He became man, fully God and fully man. And he died upon the cross. He gave his blood. He gave his life so that you and I could have a brand new fresh start. The Bible says when we believe in Jesus, we become new creations. The old has completely gone. The old way of doing things, the old way of thinking, the old way of acting, the old way of responding has been done away with. And Christ has made us new from head to toe, top to bottom, inside out, forever and ever. I hope that you have already received that today. If you haven't, you need to put your faith in Jesus Christ. You need to repent and turn to him and make him your Lord and Savior. All those who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. But today can be a brand new fresh start for you, for your, for your family members. And a lot of you, you need a fresh start in your family. You need a fresh start in your marriage. You need a fresh start in, in your neighborhood. You need a fresh start in your workplace. And I just pray in Jesus' name that you will take hold of that today, that which Christ Jesus took hold of you for. And it is to live in the newness of his spirit. It is to, to not be stuck in the old, be stuck in the, the, the way you used to do things. But I pray you'll break out today, this month, even in February, you'll break out and you'll see that God is, is working all things out together for good for you because he loves you and he's got a plan for you today. It's the eighth today. Eight represents new beginnings. You know, if you see 888, you know, Jesus is near because that is the, the, the Hebrew number for Jesus. 888. I love seeing 888 because it reminds me that Jesus is there in that moment. I know he's always with us, but sometimes we need him a bit more than other times. And he's working things out. And today he is working things out in you, in the church, in his people for a glorious end in Jesus name. Amen. If you say it, if you believe it, say amen in the, the chat, in the comments. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you for all of you who follow this channel. Uh, for, for those of you who have subscribed and you're a part of this, I just pray God's blessing on you today in all that you do. Amen. I'll see you soon.